Hi, Alex Almeida here from EMC's Backup and Recovery Technical Marketing Team. In talking with you, our customers, some of you have voiced that critical time access to your VMs is essential. Even with technologies such as EMC's industry-leading change block tracking for recovery with Avamar, which already provides a quick time for recovery, access to a VM may be required in even less time. With the latest releases of Avamar and Data Domain integrated together, we can now provide you the flexibility to power on and run your virtual machine within your VMware hypervisor environment directly from EMC Protection Storage. In this demo, I'll walk you exactly through that scenario. We have a newly announced feature called VM Instant Access that will actually run the virtual machine from the Data Domain NFS exported data store inside of the vSphere environment you have running in production. We'll then start up the application and then go through and actually do a vMotion of that VM back into our production system. So you see here I am in the Avamar backup and recovery uh, UI and what I'm going to do is actually go and recover the VM. So what I'm going to do is first browse to that restore point for that virtual machine that I want to recover. And that virtual machine is called Eclipse App 1. What I'm going to do is, is click on uh, the correct RPO that I want to select. And this was the latest backup that I have of that virtual machine. Then I'm going to select all virtual disks because I want to recover the complete virtual machine. And then previously we would just do a simple restore to restore back to our production storage. But instead what we're going to do is go ahead and do instant access. And this actually gets it to do uh, to boot straight off of the data domain. So what I'm going to do first is specify the name of the system. So I want to uh, name the VM Eclipse App 1. Um, and then I want to specify that I want it to go in the main data center in my vSphere construct. Say next. I want it to be located in my uh, BRS uh, cluster here. And then go ahead and click finish. And then we'll just go ahead and kick off the instant access operation. You can see here it's processing and very quickly we have now exported a actual virtual machine data store with the backup image of that VM uh, readily available to our production VMware environment. So I'm just going to go up here to our production VM environment. You can see here now I have Eclipse App 1. It's in a powered off state. And it's actually living on a temporary data store called Avamar. So we've created this data store temporarily for uh, usage by the, the VMFS or, or by the VMware compute infrastructure. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and power on this virtual machine now. And the VM is now powered on. So the first thing I'm going to do is now log back into that virtual machine and start up my application. So I'm just going to say to remote desktop. One. And I'm in my machine and this is my custom app that I have running. I'm just going to go ahead and start that up. Now, now that my application is running, what I want to do is actually do a vMotion to actually now get that VM data store migrated or the VM file migrated from my data store living in data domain storage over into my production VMFS data stores. So now that I'm doing that, and again, keep in mind the application is running already, so my users already have access. What I can go ahead and do is now do a migrate and perform a storage vMotion of that virtual machine. And I'm just going to pick the uh, local data store here and just say finish. And now you see here we have our vMotion running. And if I go back down to the app, you see here our application is still online and running. And our vMotion is now complete. So now our VM is now running inside of the Avamar or inside of the VMFS production data store. And our application is now running still online and our service is available to our end users. So in this demo, um, you can see performing an instant access recovery is not only easy to perform, but more importantly, it allows you the flexibility to provide previously unheard of service level agreements for VM access time from your backup storage. 
while at the same time you seamlessly restore your VM back to your production storage environment. So clearly you're not running indefinitely that VM on your backup storage. You quickly want to bring the application up and then move it over into your production VMFS data stores. Thanks for watching this demo and please check out all of the other videos and demos available on our YouTube site.